Hey there, and welcome to the last exercise to exercise 100. I really can't believe we made it this far, and this is the last solution we're going to record. So congratulations to you for making it this far and for solving all the other exercises. Now, if you want to solve this one before looking at the solution, as usual, click on the link in the description. If not, keep watching and we're going to solve it together. In this one, we need to write a function named debounce that receives one parameter. And this parameter is another function we're going to call callback. Now, the debounce function should return a new function. Let's name it debounced callback. That will behave exactly like callback, but it will only run when at least a thousand milliseconds have passed without it being invoked again. Now, I know this might be a bit confusing, so let's look at the example below. I have a simple print sum function that takes two parameters, adds them together, and console logs the result. And then I pass this print sum to the debounce function, and I get a debounced print sum. And then I call it three times, once with 1 and 2 as parameter, once with 11 and 12, and once with 100 and 200. And let's read here, because this is what happens. So, the number 300 should be printed to the console, so the last invocation, but with a one second delay. That's because the function is debounced, so it only runs if it hasn't been invoked for a thousand milliseconds. The first two calls are thus ignored, and the last one will be, will be executed. So basically we call it once. But then when we call it again, immediately the function is like, okay, I'm not gonna run the first one because you called me again and a thousand milliseconds didn't pass. So now it's gonna wait a thousand milliseconds, okay, maybe I'm gonna call this one. But then I call it a third time, so it's gonna say, okay, you called me again, so I'm not gonna run it, I'm not gonna run this invocation, instead I'm gonna do this one if a thousand milliseconds pass without another call. And since this is the last call, this one is the one we're gonna actually invoke. Now, this debouncing technique is really useful for search inputs, right? Just imagine, and I'm gonna go here, just imagine somebody is typing into a search input something like super fast. You don't want to make a request to the server for A and then another one for AS and another one for ASL. So every uh, like subsequence here. No, you just want to do one call at the end. And the debounce is this technique. You say, okay, I'm going to make the call only after a thousand milliseconds, but in a real app, we're not going to do a thousand. We're going to do like maybe a hundred or 200. So let's say I'm only going to call if 200 milliseconds have passed since the last the last call. So that means I'm only going to call it when the user stops typing, right? You're going to stop typing and then you're going to be like, okay, I wait 200 and then I call it. Now that we've read the description and uh, we did a little bit of like coding here, but it's not coding. Let's go into the function and start solving it. And the first thing I want to do is let's create the debounced callback. So I'm just going to copy the name from here. So I'm going to say const debounced callback and we're going to return it, right? Because this is what we need to do. And let's make it behave exactly like callback. So here I'm going to do rest params and I'm going to do callback of params. And to test that it works, I can just copy the code from here and we should see three numbers printed to the console. Okay, so we have the basics done. Now let's implement the part of the function with the 1000 milliseconds. So I need to call the function only if a thousand milliseconds have passed since the last invocation, which means we're going to delay calling those functions. So let's do that first. I'm going to do a set timeout of a thousand and then I'm going to call it, right? Now we're, we should see the same output, but after one second. And if I refresh it here, okay. Okay, now it works. Yeah, I'm going to refresh it. Okay, it works. One second, you see, and it appears. But, and also, by the way, we still don't have the important part, but we added this callback. Now what we need to do is when we get another call, so when this function is called again, we need to cancel the previous invocation if less than a thousand. And to do this, we're actually going to cancel this timeout. So I'm going to do let timeout ID here, and then I'm going to do timeout ID is equal to this one. And on every invocation, I'm just going to do clear timeout of timeout ID. And voila, you see, we only get the 300 in the console. Now, before submitting the solution, because I think it's correct, let's just go through the code one more time. So I'm going to call, let's take this one from here and put it here, right? And let's just do this. 
So I'm going to call the bounce print sum of 1, 2. This is going to go here into the bounced callback. I'm going to have 1, 2 as params. It's going to clear the previous timeout, but I don't have any previous timeout. And then it's going to set this timeout and it's going to say, okay, I'm going to run it with those params, but after one second. Then immediately I call it again. So what it's going to do is going to clear the timeout, which is the previous one, right, with 1, 2. And it's going to say, okay, after one second, now I'm going to call this function. But then the last invocation is going to run, it's going to clear that timeout too, and it's going to run after one second. And since this is the last one, it's actually going to run. And to test that it works, I can go here and I can say, okay, set timeout. And let's just put a timeout after uh, 1050, right? And here I'm going to say the bounced print sum of uh, 1 and 2. And we should be able to see 300 and then 3, which is correct, right? Because since this invocation, more than a thousand milliseconds have passed, so it's correct. But then if I go here and I call it multiple times and last time with 11 and 22, 222, this one should run. Okay, again, because those have been cancelled, they're immediately after one another. Now, this looks good, so let's test our solution. And voila, it works. And with this, we finished all 100 functions. So actually, this is the last video of the series. I'm going to do some more maybe in which I explain how the platform works and so on, because I really want to launch on Product Hunt and promote the website some more. But when it comes to solutions, this is the last one. So I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you find them useful. I hope you learn new things. If you do, please subscribe on YouTube. You can, you can find me on Twitter if you want to get in touch with me. I really appreciate any feedback and especially if you like it and you tell me you like it, that's, that's going to make me more confident and make me create more content like this in the future. So thank you very much for being on this journey with me and I'll see you in the next project. Not in the next function, but the next project. Have a nice day. Cheers.